Hey guys, Josh here with a quick video on how to disable ads. Those annoying money grabbing ads. Most of the time when you disable ads, you're going to be doing it through Chrome or Firefox using plugins. And a lot of sites are written to detect this kind of thing. And so the way I'm going to show you, it's going to be done at the router level. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and log into your router, which most routers are under the address of 192.168.1.1 if that doesn't come up for you then you should try googling your model number of your router and seeing what the address is since you're already there go ahead and google the default login information and if you haven't changed it before it should be the default one and usually that's lowercase admin short for administrator and the password should be admin as well so once you do that you're gonna go to your WAN tab. It's gonna look different because I'm gonna show you on my router, which is an Acer. So you may have a Linksys or a D-Link or something like that. So, but you, but most menus are usually still gonna be there, just located differently. Once you go there, you gotta see if it allows you, first of all, to change your DNS addresses. By default, it is set to automatically pick some up. Those addresses that it picks up are ones that allow ads. So what we're going to do is change it to two different addresses that are constantly growing an ad blocking list internally. So the internet that you're going to be getting is going to be, for the most part, adless internet. Now the website you want to go to to get these IP addresses is going to be alternate-dns.com. Now I have the addresses here that you can type in, but they may change over some time. So just in case you start seeing ads again in a year from now or whatnot um, go ahead and go back to that website and see the app IP address has changed but what you're going to want to do is copy those down and then insert them in your DNS 1 and 2 slots and then once you've done that you go ahead and scroll down and save your settings and then you're all done at that point now I'm going to show you and prove to you that it works real fast by loading up some different tabs and showing you some ads so I'm going to go ahead and load up one of my favorite YouTube artists called Frog Leap Studios. Now this guy makes awesome metal covers and since they're original tracks and or covers, uh, he can actually put ads on there and make some revenue off that. Now I'm all for giving this guy money because he's a great artist, but I just don't like watching ads. You can support him on different things like Patreon and that's a lot better for him. So I'm going to show you how these IP addresses block ads. Now first things first, I do actually use ad blockers on my Chrome extensions, uBlock Origin and AdBlock for YouTube. Now AdBlock for YouTube pretty much gets rid of all ads. You still have to wait in a black screen for the duration of the ad with that one, but uBlock blocks more more ads throughout just general web use. And so I'm going to disable those real fast just to show you that this IP address is the one that's doing all the blocking and it's not the extensions. So when I click on this video, at the very beginning, you see the little yellow bar, which you normally use to load an ad? I didn't see an ad there. Did you? No, because the ad was completely removed at the source. There was no extension, there was no plugin, it was just removed before your internet could even pick it up. Now, here's another thing. Let's go to the home page, and there normally should be an ad right there at the top, but the DNS addresses are blocking it entirely and that's what you're going to be experiencing whenever you want to block some ads automatically through your router now just to prove that I'm going to go ahead and turn on the extensions again and you can see that the extensions remove them completely when I enable it it just disappears and that's how you know the difference is it'll still try to load the ad but fail using the IP addresses which a lot of websites are cool with that because they don't detect the failure to load that ad. They assume the ad's going to be loaded because that's not their job. Their job is to display the ad. But when the ad's blocked by an extension, that's when websites get a little upset at you because that's going to be stopping their revenue and they know it. So this is the exact way that I'm going to be blocking ads from now on. If you want, you can also turn on uBlock Origin as well to make it almost 100% right there of blocking ads. You also still might see a couple of those ads here and there because they're not maybe added to the list yet, but that's out of your hands and you just gotta wait for whoever's running these DNS servers to add those new ad addresses to the list so you don't have to see them anymore. But that's it. Thanks for watching.
go ahead and click that link below. Help support my channel, and I'll pump out more videos shortly.